Hello Power Pickers! I am restringing this guitar and I thought that's a perfect moment to show you how I care about my guitar, what kind of polishing tools I am using and uh, what kind of cleaners I'm using for maple and also rosewood fretboards. So stay tuned, you will learn how I clean my guitars. <laughs> One of the first things I do after removing the strings is taking a toothbrush, but not for brushing my teeth, to brush the bridge because there are a lot of little small flexible parts which need to be cleaned and that's a perfect tool for that. See that? So you can polish it and it works very good. Also the pickups and the thing between the neck and the pickups and over here. Perfect method, works very good. I always use this one. Next step is to clean the fretboard. There are a lot of fingernails and skin rests on the fretboard so we want to remove that and finally oil the fretboard to keep it wet and clean. So uh, please take care uh, if you have maple, so a bright wood, or if you have rosewood or darker woods. There are two different conditioners I'm using. For the darker woods I'm using the Adario Hydrate Fingerboard Conditioner, looks like this. So for example on my J Custom I'm using this conditioner. And for this guitar, for the metal fret boards, I'm using the Fretboard Juice Fretboard Conditioner of Big Benz. So this is a very good thing for this guitar. In the first step we simply wipe off the fingernails and uh, the skin rests from the fretboard. And uh, for the fretboard choose for polishing in, so I always do this a little bit everywhere. I know a lot of people uh, who rub this with the finger, I don't like to have oil on my finger, so I'm using a very fine meshed microfiber cloth. And yeah, I just begin to massage it in to the fretboard. While the fretboard juice is drying, uh, I'm polishing the body of the guitar and for that I'm using the Dunlop Formula number 65 guitar cleaner and polish and a different type of cloth, but it's also a microfiber one. So. Uh, I think two or three times pressing this button is uh, enough and yeah it's like cleaning windows so uh, it doesn't matter in what kind of direction you're going if the fretboard is very dry you maybe need to repeat uh, that polishing process but uh, normally it is enough to do it once or twice a year so uh, depends on, on, on the climate in your room but yeah that's it that's how I polish my guitars now I will restring this and I'm learning far beyond the sun from Ingwie Malmsteen you will hear this very soon on my channel stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and keep on shredding